13 ABC's Lisa Guyton spoke to a local political science professor about the impact of Lewis's life, and she joins us live with more. Lisa? Diane, Sam Nelson is the head of the Department of Political Science and Public Administration here at the University of Toledo. And he says while not everyone agreed with Lewis's politics, it is hard to argue the lasting impact his life's work will have on this nation. Now, Lewis became active in the civil rights movement as a young man. His father was a sharecropper. His great-great-grandfather was a slave. Lewis worked alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in 1963. He spoke before Dr. Dr. King at the March on Washington. That's where King delivered his I Have a Dream speech. In 1965, Lewis was beaten while walking across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, during a march for voting rights. He was first elected to the U.S. House in 1986. And Nelson says there are important lessons for us all in Lewis's life. There are only so many people of his stature. There are only so many people of his lived experience who have accomplished the things that he accomplished. And so it's, it's important to mark their passing and, and mark what they did accomplish and, and what a lifetime of service to um, changing America and bringing it up to its ideals looks like. And Now, Lewis is the first black lawmaker to lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda, his body resting on the same platform built in 1865 for President Abraham Lincoln's casket. Reporting live in Toledo, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC. Action News. Historic day in the nation's capital. The body of late Congressman John Lewis is now at the U.S. Capitol building in Washington. Lawmakers, civil rights leaders, and others gathered this afternoon as Lewis's casket was escorted into the rotunda for a ceremony. As a precaution due to the pandemic, a public viewing will take place outside on the front steps of the Capitol. Sam Nelson heads up the political science department at the University of Toledo. He says Lewis's legacy as a civil rights icon and politician will have a lasting impact on our nation. And it often takes people who are willing, like John Lewis, to put their bodies on the line uh, to stand up for what they believe in and to stand up for what they think America means uh, for change to happen and to lead uh, through those examples. It's not, it's not all court cases. It's not all congressional hearings. Lewis will lie in state in the Georgia State Capitol on Wednesday. On Thursday, there will be services at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta followed by internment at Southview Cemetery. Lewis died at the age of 80 following a six-month battle with cancer.